Think about your own household budget. You're supposed to have one. Well, unfortunately, the federal government, which is our government, us as taxpayers, are you pay and we contribute to the system, and they're supposed to have a balanced budget. Unfortunately, we haven't had one in years. I mean, people have talked about it, this and that, but no legislation has ever happened. So what's happened is every so often, it comes up where we're fixing to hit the last time they extended it, the spending. So when you think about your own household, if you simply, husband and wife have an agreement that here's what we're gonna do, but at the end of the month, money ran out, but there's still days left in the month or in the year. Well, we've agreed we're not going to touch our savings account, let's say. So we're going to have to sit down and have some kind of a meeting about either raising our spending limits. Hey, we, this isn't enough. We've got to have food. We have to raise and spend more money. Or we're going to have to cut spending. Or if we're going to go into our savings, we have to agree to do that. Well, unfortunately, in the United States government, it doesn't work quite like it would in our normal household, but we should have a spending limit. So right now, what's happened is the debt ceiling, we have reached it or rapidly reaching it in the next few days. Well, here's what happens. If we don't extend it and give ourselves increased spending, if Congress doesn't do that, then what happens? Well, we start to default on our bonds. We, the, the United States credit has a credit rating. And that will fall in the eyes of anyone wanting to lend money to the United States. It would simply go down. And the reason it would go down is because we'd be defaulting. And you say, well, we're not going to do that. Well, actually, we did get lowered at one time in the past. I don't remember if it was Moody's or Standard & Poor's, but one of them lowered the United States credit rating because we didn't have this, quote, balanced budget. And so, again... It has great impact around the country. Now, here's where it doesn't. The news and stuff will try to say things like, well, people won't get paid, so government workers aren't going to get their money and things like that. That's not what's happening. It has to do with the government's credit rating, and it'd be no different than in your own household. If you didn't pay your bills on time, what would happen to your credit rating? Well, it would certainly go down. And that's exactly what's going to happen to the United States if we can't agree on some form of an extension. But really what needs to happen is we need to go back to when we had an actual balanced budget. And this means people on the left side of the aisle and people on the right hand side of the aisle and people down the center of the aisle are all going to have to join forces and figure out a way to actually do what they were hired to do, which is work together and build a balanced budget for the United States of America that we can follow, and that needs to happen. And eventually, if it got to the place, you would have government workers not being paid and things like that, but it would take some time for it to actually get to that level. And that's not happening in the United States, nor do I expect that to happen. Much like a lot of families in America, a lot of them do have plenty of income. They have a spending problem. Well, the United States government had record income in the last couple of years. Absolute record income came in in the form of taxation, regulation, and fees, etc. So the income's coming in. The problem is we're just spending too much. And why are we doing that? Because there's an open checkbook. <clears throat> when you say open checkbook, Mark, what do you mean? Well, think about it this way. If you simply or can spend whatever you want with no regard to a balanced budget in your household, what would happen? And there's been families that have had this where one person was trying to stay on track and the other one went and spent. And we know how that works out. It creates ugly times in the household. And eventually there has to be an intervention where we cut credit cards up or freeze the credit cards, do all kinds of drastic steps to get back on track. The United States government has not had that day of reckoning, and it needs to happen sooner than later. 32 trillion reasons why that needs to happen. The United States government has actually never defaulted on loans. It's never happened, nor do I expect it to this time. So you're going to hear a lot of hysteria about it in the media and things like that to make it sensational, and that's what sells papers or sells the news channel. But at the end of the day, we've never defaulted, nor do I expect it this time. But there has to be a day of reckoning where we just say enough is enough. We've got to get on target. So one of the ways like a family would do that is, how about this? No new spending, no new spending without something being cut. So if we say in the Henry household, hey, we really want to bring on a new subscription service and it's going to cost $99 a month, but it gives our family everything we need. 
Well, if we were enacting that in the Henry household, we can't take on $99 of new spending without finding where we're going to cut $99. Well, I know where we're going to cut it. We're going to cut some of those gym memberships out that we're not using or something like that. So all of a sudden, we took, we got what we wanted, but we gave up something that we either didn't want as much or we didn't even need. Well, let's be very clear about this. When it comes to the United States government, I truly believe we could find many things that could be cut out of the budget and if we wanted to put something in that was more useful. So we agree that, hey, and this is something I think people, both Democrats and Republicans, both could agree on. And I don't understand why they couldn't. Hey, we're just not going to have any new spending unless we cut out the exact same amount. How about that deal? I think that's something that everybody could get around. This really shouldn't be hard because families in America do it every day. They figure out how to make ends meet. It's the sacrifice that we make. And unfortunately, as a government, we haven't done that. We need a little pain in Washington. They need to feel some of the pain that average Americans are feeling right now. People like the viewers and listeners of this right now, they feel the pain. But why isn't Washington feeling the pain? Well, we need to force them to feel a little of that pain so they understand this is real and we hired them to do a job and we expect them to do it. And one of the ways we expect them to do it is come up with some kind of a solution, not just point the finger at the other side.